I am Mr. Mr. 007, and I'm a foreigner living in Japan, and I'm going to be doing unboxing, or I guess you could say an unbagging of some Christmas goods. Okay, first in the bag, we have uh, these two packages of uh, Not Your Nice Pasta. Cool. Next, we have some uh, a chocolate Christmas decorations, and we have Santa Claus as well. Also, we have, oh, we have this Christmas tin here. Pretty cool, a Santa Claus on it here. Maybe you have a shortbread cookies inside. Cool. Here we have, it says, uh, peanut butter Santa. We got one, two, three peanut butter Santas in this box. Cool. Also, we have, uh, oh, candy canes. Mini candy canes will decorate the tree with. Cool. And we have a couple of these. This is uh, Christmas surprise eggs. So that is all that is in the bag here. But you may be wondering, what's so special about these goods? Well, I'll tell you. Last night, I went to the uh, shopping mall, uh, a nearby shopping mall, and we did lots of shopping, Christmas goods and presents and things like that. And we also went grocery shopping. And it was we were there for a couple of hours and made a little tired. And then it was time to go home. It's almost around 10 o'clock or something. So we went back to the car and packed all the goods from uh, the shopping cart. But this bag here was on a hook on the shopping cart. The other goods were in the shopping cart, but this was just hanging on a hook that was on the shopping cart. So I put everything into the car and then I put the shopping cart away and we drove home. About 50 minutes to an hour later, as I was unpacking all the goods, I realized that this bag was not in our house. And I'm wondering, where's the bag? So the first thing I did is I went back to the car to look in the car, but there was nothing left in the car. So I said, oh no, I must have forgotten it at the shopping mall. So I got back in the car and drove to the shopping mall. And at this time, it was around 11 o'clock and the shopping mall closed at 11 o'clock. So it was closed, there was nobody there. So I looked where I put the shopping cart. Ah, I saw the shopping cart, but there was no bag or anything on it. So I'm thinking, oh no. Um, someone probably had taken it and uh, lucky them. So I was driving home and I had to tell my family that maybe someone took the shop or took this uh, Christmas bag here. And uh, so it was a little kind of unhappy kind of thing there um, because some of these kind of chocolate things were for my children. Or before going to Japan, I heard that if you forget something somewhere that there's a good possibility that someone will take it to the police station or someone will take it to a kind of a service counter or something like that. That's what I heard about Japan. Um, I've been living here for about 11, 12 years now and uh, I've never lost anything so I've never had that opportunity to see if it's true or not. Um, but since the department store was closed the only thing I could do was go home and the next morning at 10 o'clock when the department store opened I could call again, or the shopping mall that is, I could call back and see if anyone returned it. So um, I went to bed that night, then the next morning, I guess maybe I was wondering, did someone return the bag? I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that someone returned the bag, because hey, this is Japan, I thought. Uh, but I told my wife and uh, she said, nowadays um, Japan is slowly by slowly getting westernized, I guess, where um, people would maybe take things, maybe not return things to the police station or to a service counter or something like that. Um, because the shopping cart was in the middle of a parking lot in a big shopping mall and there was no name on the bag at all. So it was easily to just put in your car and go home because it was late at night. Um, but the next morning I called the department store and lucky enough, someone brought it back and that so myself I really really couldn't believe it I was so happy that someone did that 
Um, again, I'm a foreigner living in Japan. Uh, back in my country, um, if I saw a bag or something on a shopping cart, beyond honestly speaking, uh, I would think twice about taking it to a police station or to a service counter or something like that. It'd be kind of troublesome. Um, so most people, uh, in my opinion, would probably just take the bag, put it in their car and say, ah, oh, lucky, a few extra Christmas goodies. Um, but in Japan, people still return things to a police station or to a service counter. That's how kind Japanese people are. Um, I was very, very surprised um, that I got this bag and I got it back basically. So someone had returned it. So it's just unbelievable. So please let me know what you think of this video. Um, again, I love living in Japan and um, again, in my home country, people probably would have, uh, I guess you could say, stole the bag or put the bag in their car and just gone home and not think twice about it maybe. They are kind-hearted people. And again, this was in the middle of a parking lot kind of far away to the entrance of the department store or, or shopping mall that someone actually took this bag off of an empty shopping cart and brought it back into the shopping mall and took it to the service counter. Um, unbelievable that someone did that. I'm just so happy. Um, if you want to leave a video response or a comment on what you think about this little story here, um, please let me know how you feel. Uh, subscribe, rate, five stars, because hey, Christmas is coming, and uh, leave a comment. And just let me know what you think about this story. Um, I love Japan, the people are very, very kind, and it just shows you, um, many, many years later, Japan is still made the same, where the people are just so awesome, and uh, they return things. Let me know what you would have done in that case. Would you have taken it home? Or would you have returned it just like how this Japanese person, or I don't know who returned it, but someone did return it. Just let me know what you think about this. All right, over and out. Peace.